This is an entry one function skills maths paper from City and Guilds. There are two parts of this paper. One, which is worth eight marks, where you can't use a calculator. And there is a second part as well, where you can use a calculator. Question one, work out 15 out of five. So 15 can be broken down into 10 and five. And we've got to add five as well. So we've got 10 and another 10 and mix 20. Question two, what is 18 take away 11? 18 take away 11, eight take away one is seven, one take away one is zero. So the answer is seven. Tick the longest table, that is C. Fourteen, then we've got to put an operation, a symbol, then we have 8 equals 6. So that is 14 take away 8 equals 6 because 8 add 6 gives us 14. Question 5. We've got jug A and jug B. Choose the correct words to finish the sentence. So, jug A has the same amount of water as jug B, which is not right. Jug A has less water than jug B, which is, again, wrong. And then we've got option C, which says jug A has more water than jug B, which is correct. And looking at the final option an equal amount of water which is not right so option c is the correct one the craft shop has a delivery of wooden ducks the ducks are all different heights 11 centimeters 6 centimeters 3 centimeters 20 centimeters and 12 centimeters write these heights in order start with the smallest first so they're all in centimetres, so we're going to pick the number that is the smallest, and that is 3. And then we've got 6. Then we've got 11, 12, 20. The craft shop has these shapes to make into gift tags. The owner wants to use white triangles. Show which shapes she will use, tick them. So looking at white triangles, they're all triangles and some of them are white, four of them. A customer buys a sheet of wrapping paper for 12 pence. She pays with a 20p coin. This is how she works out how much change she should get. 20p, take away 12p equals 8p. Show how the customer can check her answer. So we've got 12p is the cost. Add the 8p given as change. And that totals 20p, which is what the customer had to begin with, so it is correct. This is the end of the first part of the paper. From now on you can use a calculator. There are 24 marks for this second part of the paper.
Question 1. Write the seasons of the year in order, starting with spring. Spring. Then we have summer. Autumn. And then winter. Second question is what is the name of this shape that is a circle question three tick all the one pence coins so there we have a one pence coin another one The rest of them seem to be one pound coins or two pence coins or two pounds as well. Question four. A man visits the craft shop. This is the sign on the door. We open at this time. The man checks the time on his watch. So this is nine o'clock, this is ten o'clock. So is the shop open now? How do you know? Yes. I know because the shop opened one hour earlier because it's 10 now and it should have opened at 9 the shop assistant tells the man the craft shop does not open on Sunday and Monday how many days of the week is the shop open? Okay, so there are seven days in a week. If it's not going to open for two days, that means it's going to open for five days. So we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, five of them. The craft shop sells this model animals. A man wants to buy an owl. This is the price list. What does the man need to pay? Eight pounds. The man has these coins. Which coins will you use to pay for the owl? Tick them. So eight pounds in total. So we could have two and another two to make four, another two to make six, and then seven, eight. There are other ways you could combine them as well. The assistant looks for a model owl. This is the display in the craft shop. Use the picture of the display to finish this sentence. You can see them under the table here. The owls are under the table, not on top. The manager wants a chart to show the number of model animals sold last week. The shop sold 13 horses last week. Draw in the bar for horses. 
So first, let's look at the gap that there is between the bars. It's one, two. So we're going to keep the gap of two squares. We're going to start here. So we'll go up to number 13. So we'll get up to this point. Thirteen horses. Explain what your chart shows about the numbers of models sold. So if we compare them to cats, we can say more horses than cats were sold. A customer wants to buy a plate to paint. She wants to paint the biggest plate. She sees these plates. Tick which plate she will buy. That's the biggest one. The woman pays with this note. So the cost of it was nine pounds. She's gonna pay with 20 pounds. What change will she get? So 20, take away 9, leaves us with 11. You can do this with a calculator. 11 pounds. The owner counts these empty pots of paint today. Yesterday there were 10 empty pots of paint. Complete the sentences. The owner counted, and we'll say how many, so we'll count them. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So, eighteen today. The number of empty pots today is how many more than the number of empty pots yesterday so if we compare them 18 today 10 yesterday that is eight more the craft shop sells these gift boxes here are the boxes the owner asked the shop assistant how many black gift boxes there are in the shop what does the shop assistant tell the owner? So, black, how many black ones? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are twelve black gift boxes. Small gift boxes cost 20 pence each. A customer wants to buy one small gift box. He has these coins. Tick the coin to use to pay for the gift box. This is the 20 pence coin. The manager keeps a record of the number of mugs, bowls and plates sold last week. He starts to draw a tally chart to show this information. This is the number of plates sold. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... So we'll show the nine plates here in the tally chart. One, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The manager wants to know how many more small mugs were sold than large mugs. What will you tell her? Space for... Okay, so let's have a look at the number of small mugs and large mugs. Okay, large mugs we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Small mugs, we've got 10. So two more small mugs than large mugs. So 10 take away 8 equals 2. The manager also wants to know how many bowls were sold. What will you tell her? So let's have... At the tally chart, we've got 5 and 5, 10, 11, 12, 12 bowls. This is the end of the paper.